Hey everybody, the buying is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play. New Super Mario Land, a Super Nintendo homebrew game that was chosen in the 2022 Christmas special. And I got a ch chance to try it. It does have graphics very reminiscent to like New Super Mario Bros. for the DS. But this is actually done off a of SNES. Well, it's a SNES game. But not an official one, of course. Looks like it's gonna be a hack, but it's not. So, we'll get into it. So you notice right away, obviously, the levels and music. And I guess some of the physics are trying to be based on Super Mario Land for the Game Boy, but not fully there. So it feels like its own thing, and that thing just feels kind of awkward. Like some of the presentation, like the alive counter and the coin counter feels a little, I don't know, kind of cheap. You have a wall jump for some reason. That wasn't even in Super Mario Land. I don't know, I guess they're trying to be, make it like New Super Bros. with a DS as well, but you can't even ground pound. So it doesn't even know what it wants to be at this point. Get the uh, Super Ball that bounces as per usual. You can use it to pick up coins. So I guess this has like four player co-op as well. I saw in the attract feature. Obviously I don't have like three other people to play with me right now. So I'm just a solo act as per use. But that's usually just the way I like it. Oh god. That that face looks pretty frightening. Oh, they don't even have the French can can music. So that knocks it down a little peg. Like why would you have to worry about like a licensing? It's not even for sale. The coin block doesn't even move. isn't it? Alright, you know the deal. Get to the top door, and you get a chance to get some more lives, or a flower. The bonus game feels a little bit easier to time in this than it did in the original game. So I guess that's one thing going for it. Why does, like, some of the, uh, backgrounds seem kind of washed? Like, look at the sand, and look at the pyramid, too. Like, it doesn't look very clean to me. You, you probably just, like, wash some windows and the water hasn't even fallen off yet. So it looks kind of blurry. That's what it looks like to me. It's kind of weird. Jumping feels a little stiff when you're trying to control your movement, like going the opposite way. But it's not a terrible game, I, I have played worse. Like this is definitely playable. The other thing that I really, really don't like about this game at all... Like this is based on a Game Boy game. But running on a SNES, so to speak. Like, you can play it on SNES. What I don't understand is, why the hell... Does the resolution seem way smaller? Like, you have way less screen real estate than you did on the Game Boy. Like, how does that happen? Like, you should be able to see, like, the whole area. You don't even climb down the ladder, it just like goes on the next plane of elevation. That looks so lazy too. At least the uh, secret passages are still there. Levels have at least some coat of paint, so I mean that's neat I guess. Why do the sound effects sound like they're done through a wind tunnel? I mean, listen!
like the sound quality for the music is okay, but sound quality for sound effects is just awful. Like, I don't think it was this awful on a DS, let alone a SNES. How do you make that happen? Like, the SNES would be more powerful than this. I mean, like, I, like, I should cut some slack. I mean, it's a homebrew, but still. You can't help but just, like, point it out, since it's right up there in your ears. That thing is just hard to ignore. Also, you don't really have a slide when you're trying to get under gap, so... If you're too big, you're, you're not getting there. Sorry. That's it. Those sphinxes look more like dogs. Oh, just get a few shots in there. Got him. First world cleared. There's probably still four worlds, like before. Hey, Daisy. Oh, Daisy! Oh, her makeup game is on point. She even grew wings. I'll see you soon, Daisy. Peach is too busy getting kidnapped by Bowser. Okay, the uh, UFO effect does look pretty cool. Too bad it doesn't really do anything other than just be there. Why does the opening part almost sound like the Teddy Bear's Picnic song? Remember that? That's what it kind of reminds me of. Although not, not exactly the same. But there's similarities exist. I'm not even going to bother to run because, again... The resolution being so small, I mean, I could easily just run into something and get hurt. And why does the game just stop as soon as I get a star and it picks up again just to let the music play? Like, why is that interrupting the flow of the game? There was a hidden coin block somewhere, was there? No, that might be the next area. I'm not gonna bother with it, I have plenty of lives. I certainly love Mario just shouting every single time he jumps. That won't get old fast. I already have 16 lives. And this is only the fourth level I've done. Ah, damn it. Can't even store power ups in this. Like, if you have one, that's it. Can't even pick it up. Hey, we just reused the same bonus. We just reused the same bonus. We used it again. Da, 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 da. Okay, you can actually, like, go left. Like, in the original Super Mario Land, you couldn't even do that. Don't even know why you would need to at that point. If you're so used to the original game. You never needed to go back to the left. It's like if it. Like you ran away, that's it. It's gone. You didn't need it. Oh, 
Why does this star music sound like it's going at the right rhythm and then it goes in the wrong rhythm? And it just keeps alternating. I bet y'all are getting tired of me nitpicking, because I mean... You gotta understand, if you play games for years... Like, you develop, you know, like some sense of analyzing them with like a deeper lens. Oh, didn't mean to do that. There we go. Wait, where'd I go? Did I get a secret? I died?! Huh? So, if you go, like, off-screen by going to the very top of the screen, and then going to the corner, like, at the end of the level, you die. What? That was stupid. I can't believe I had my first death be on BS like that. Alright, just do a little bunny hop. You can't trust the game anymore. There, got my power back. That was bullshit right there. Okay, you can actually just hold Y to shoot. Oh, God. Okay, this one I wasn't prepared for. You can angle your shots now. Uh, I don't know if I like that. It can be useful, but if you're so used to them only going straight forward, it's kind of jarring, isn't it? Do none of the levels have time limits anymore? So I've never seen one. There's no points either. Hit detection for some of these uh, missiles feels a little off. What? Oh! It launches fireballs whenever you kill it. Seahorses horses seem pretty hard to hit, too. I don't know why. Oh, it's the Mario coins. Get them. Pretty sure one of these blocks had a star, but which one? Seahorse boss. Hitbox is on the bottom part of it. Not even the whole body. Get back down here! Seriously? That many shots? Damn. Could've just bypassed them, but I didn't like the violence. Mario has a little, let go of some steam, right? Thank you, Mario. Oh, Daisy Ellipsis. When did you get new legs? Hm. Wait, why am I small? Wait, I don't remember getting hit. What? So exiting the submarine takes away your power-ups? That... I don't think that ever happened in the Game Boy 1. What the hell? Oh, you're losing that bit of goodwill each time, game. I swear to God. Why would you even think that's a thing to put in? Like, you don't miss that in code. That has to be intentional. Oh, 
Okay, this is one of the levels I was dreading, because I know there's going to be an awful lot of platforming to do in this. Especially with, uh, spike, spikes and boulders. So I'm not looking forward to that. The angry Moai heads are coming. Oh! Oh, I didn't... I forgot they turn on a dime! Why do the Moais sound like uh, Koopas when they die? They don't sound right to me. Alright, finally got my uh, Power Ball again! Or Super Ball! Better not lose it. What? I missed it. Well, at least the spikes don't instantly kill you if you're big. Sucks that I lost all my power again. Oh. oh my god, it's still going. Oh. Oh. Excellent. Whatever, I'll take the lives. Oh! Invisible wall! Why is that there? Couldn't be that it was the natural boundary of the level in the first place, wasn't it? Oh, pff, what? Invisible ceilings. Yeah, every video game appreciates those. I'm sure of it. Get my good power up there, but I'm not going back for it. Oh. Where's it gonna go? I don't even know why I'm trying to kill some enemies when I don't need to. Into the pit with you! Spider fiend. Alright, so far so good. Like, you should be able to do that kind of platforming, but because of these ceilings, you can't do it. So I had to go take the low road. Oh. Don't shoot me. I don't think I have much left to this game, do I? I remember there are like, what, 12 levels in total? And this is like... I'm finishing stage 8 now. Give me the Power Ball. I keep calling it Power Ball, it's Super Ball. Power Ball is like a lottery game. That ain't it. <laughs> I don't feel like I won the lottery playing this game. I'll tell you that much.
At least I'll get a quickie for this one. Like you just finish it real quick and then you're done. On to the next game. I don't believe in, like, uh, in this amount of time that I finished well over 700 games. Of course, not all of them legit, of course. You know, like, save states, maybe some cheats here or there. But that's still a lot of games in such a period of time. And I ain't gonna complain about that. I finished like close to like 50 games. Might have been exactly 50 games last year. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna top that. Oh. Can't stay there. Right, I gotta be careful with this because I know wall jumping exists. This one's angry because he doesn't have wings. It takes it out on me. I don't like that. Like, why are you so mad? Oh! What? That stutter almost screwed me over. The Master Moai. I leave you. You keep chucking rocks, and then you blow up and die. <laughs> I win. Thank you, Mario. Oh, Daisy. My, what big teeth you have. <laughs> and eyebrows. Alright, last world. Okay, this backdrop does look really nice. Oh, you can actually kill those. Were you able to do that with, like, a Super Balls in the Game Boy version? I kind of forget. I remember jumping on them, they would just go back up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Couldn't even see where the floor was. Like, this was not an issue in the Game Boy version. I could always see where I was gonna land. I still can't get over the fact that they made the screen resolution for this game worse than on a fucking Game Boy. And this is a homebrew that was meant for consoles. There's no excuse for that. Little well, wolf, we zoomed it all out, we'd have to make Mario smaller. Well, yeah, so what? It was really small in the Game Boy version, too. And there was no problems. Okay. I thought I wasn't going to make that jump, to be honest with ya. So I was getting kind of worried. Oop, okay. Don't need that. Can't even get it anyway. I forgot there was a brick that just randomly falls over there. Yeah, we're into the void with you, you fiend. You too! Okay, I should be pretty close to the end of the level. 
forgot that the levels in this game actually were pretty long. For Game Boy standards. Oh, Jesus. Ugh. Oh, God. It's chugging. No, 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 don't bother with it. Just, just go. I was expecting the game to still hit me anyway. That's a little faith I had in it. Alright, time for the penultimate level. But some people probably watching this video are gonna say like, Oh, he hates the game. Just because I critiqued it. No, I don't hate it. Like, I just find there are things about it that could be way better. And some people, sadly, still, like, even to this day, take it personally if you don't like a game that they really like. They almost see, like, a personal attack. So, well, congratulations. Y you just made liking a piece of media your entire personality, and that's not good. It means outside of that, you have nothing. Like, I even criticize things about Final Fantasy VI. And that's one of my favorite games of all time. But there's nothing wrong with, like, criticizing things you like. Doesn't mean you hate it. But that's a story for another time. Like, what about you guys? Is there a game or, like, a movie that you really really love, but you also can't help but pick it apart. Oh, Jesus, I almost got hit there. Again, for me, like, Final Fantasy VI, one of my favorite games of all time. Probably the best Final Fantasy of all time, in my humble opinion. And probably the opinion of many out there. But what I don't like about it is that you can all make every character super OP and the final boss like for a great character the fight itself was not even memorable and Final Fantasy 7 had that same problem too with Sephiroth like great character but the fight sucked and not even because it was hard because, like, if you took the time to build your characters, even, like, a little bit, you just pwn them in, like, a few minutes. Just enough to suck the energy out of the room. You know what I mean? Last level, we're on the plane. Oh! Wait, am I technically starting the level small? What is all those birds? They look like just mouths. Ah, oh, shoot down the planes. They didn't need to be in that airspace anyway. Close one. Wow! Oh, I'm dead. I got shot down. I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to beat this game. I only have, what, 20 odd lives? Pausing doesn't tell you. What is the point of power-ups if they just fall away immediately? There's like air blasters. There's a bunch of power-ups. Get them in like two seconds. Oh no, get them in one second and they're gone. I 
so they made this part pretty wrong, too. It's far so you can't even get him. You just remember you hugging that block like Doom Guy trying to find secrets. Like, how do you butcher that? Alright, at least I'll be going into the boss pretty big. slow, you get crushed to death. Thankfully, it's not like most shooters, or if you touch the wall, you die. Oh, the hands. You're giving me the hands. Can't do it. Oh, it's, a uh, Krakow's weird cousin. The one that actually has two eyes. He's the black sheep of the crowd fa- Crowd? Cloud family! Alright, come forth, Tatanga. Hey, um, can I hit you? You have to pretty much get in that lane. Oh no. He fires some of the fireballs closer to the left side of the screen now. So it's even harder to dodge his attacks. Got him! Into the void with you. You're finished. Oh. Okay, I just caused a, a nuclear bomb. Everybody in this universe is dead. Oh, Daisy! Daisy! Thank you, Mario! Yeah, get in my buff! Get right in there! I did it, Mario! I did it! I died twice! <laughs> Your quest is over. I have a much bigger plane now. And thank God I didn't use that plane against the Tanga. <laughs> I've had the widest hitbox of all time. Mario can't even steer this plane to save his life. Look how it's rocking. Anyway, that's it. That's a new Super Mario Land. <laughs> Not even 35 minutes and I finished the game. I mean, given the source material, it was also a very short game. For some reason, I thought they were just going to add a little twist and turn for this one. And it looks like they did not. They kept it authentic. Good for them, I guess. So would I recommend this? If you're curious about it. But if you're so used to the Game Boy version, you might be disappointed by some things. Like having to get used to the physics again. But it is what it is. They did whatever they could with the hardware. Given it was a homebrew. Doesn't mean it was the best gaming experience I had with uh, Super Mario Land as a whole. I, I prefer the Game Boy one. But whatever. Thank you so much for playing my game. It was my pleasure, kinda. Results? Lifes! Not lives, lifes! 34. Grab 999 coins. I think there was only a limit. 264 hits on enemies. Wait. I thought I had two deaths. Did they not count that one from a 2-2? Two -two? 
You probably have it all on that side because of, you know, co-op. You wanna do expert mode? I mean, I kinda wish he gave me expert mode right from the beginning. Like, what's really the difference anyway? Right, just like more enemies to it. And not much else. I kind of wish what they did with this one. Just give me expert mode from the start. Like, when I did my Let's Play of uh, Super Mario Land for the Game Boy, I think I just played through the game first. And then did it in expert mode for the actual Let's Play. Yeah, it's just like more enemies and like the same levels. Yeah, enough of that. Alright, so anyway, this is the Bonga signing off saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I shall see you next time.